Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Today I am trying out some new makeup I purchased that was custom matched for me. The brand is Saint. I don't think, I know it's not sold in stores, but I had a licensed esthetician to do my color match and send me what would work for me. And it's supposed to be great for women of color. It's supposed to be good coverage, but not fake looking, if you will. It's supposed to be a very natural look. I've already tried it once and I did okay. As you saw on my last video where I did my reset, I played in it for the first time that day. And I, I really like it. I have really oily skin, so lots of makeup does not work for me but in my 40s i've just wanted to i don't know just be a little bit more polished and usually i steer away from makeup because of how oily my skin is but this makeup did well i also have a other a few other couple of things that i use in addition to that but they were all recommendations by samantha she's on youtube and instagram that i know of samantha I think it's Samantha Abraham, but I'll put it on the screen. I worked with her, she did my custom color palette. I just wanted to show you guys and um, just in case you're interested and if you're in your 40s and you want simple makeup, but it looks natural, it just enhances, it doesn't transform you <laughs> and make you look like somebody else. Cause that's, that's the other thing that I don't like is, you know, I don't want to look like somebody else. I just want to look like me, but like another level up. And then I started, I don't know, I just want to cover up, you know, as best I can, my under eyes. It's just from years of life. Um, so anyway, I'm gonna get started. I'm gonna show y'all everything and then I'm gonna get started on the makeup and showing y'all what it looks like. Okay y'all, so here is the little box that it comes in. As you can see it says Saint um, and it's just a cute little box. It's got two layers. You can expand your palette as you get more familiar with using these, but it's, it's cream based, it's beeswax. It is good for sensitive skin because it's also another one of my issues. I am really sensitive and when I wore this, it did not irritate my skin. And there are two layers in my palette so far and you'll see <laughs> I kind of label these two, but here is the first palette and it comes with a little mirror and you can get different uh, color cases too. You can see the camera. <laughs> this is a highlight, a highlight, another highlight, and then this is contour obviously because it's so dark. And then in this palette is different blushes and cheek colors. You can use these as lip color and then this last one is a bronzer so she does all kinds of classes and teaches you exactly how to use it and place it i think i know what to do but i think i'm gonna i'm gonna mix up my blush this time and get a little bit more of a pink more than a peach because i feel like it flushed out on me looking at my video before this one and just try to do my contour a little bit better because I love the way it just like warms up the face and gives it dimension. I'm going to actually turn on one of her Instagram videos because she does it in like five minutes and her her look is always so gorgeous and natural and I'm going to follow that while I film. Um, but before that I've already done skincare. I didn't put a lot of anything on. I toned and use a little bit of my La Roche-Posay matte moisturizer. I think it's the double repair one. And I did it last time too, and I don't know, I don't think it, it caused an issue. But I am going to, besides that, I'm going to use this Il Maquillage Primer. It's called a poreless primer. And in between, I'm going to use this e.l.f matte magic mist and set and what else oh and for my powder i picked up this laura mercier it was also recommended by samantha and it is the translucent medium deep 
And other than that, in doing my eyebrows, I'm going to just roll with the tutorial and see what I end up looking like. I'm all, I may also do a little eyeshadow Fenty palette. It's called the Bomb Posse. And I actually got this on sale, like I wanna say last year. But here are the colors. I love a neutral or a light pink or something like that. And I was actually using <laughs> one of these to contour before I got this kit. And it looks good. It didn't look bad at all. So <laughs> I'm not obviously not going to do that now, but I may use it to go over top and um, kind of mattify it a little bit. Give me a little time before my pores decide to shoot the oil out. Okay, y'all, and um, <clears throat> these don't come with it, but these brushes were recommended and they all do something different. I can't explain it to you. I'm just gonna follow the tutorial <laughs> and pick up the brush she picks up when she picks it up. So, but these are, these are supposed to be the only brushes that actually work with the makeup because they're made by the company that obviously makes a palette. I don't know how true that is, but that's what they said. So, <laughs> and I lied, I'm gonna do my brows first and it's just a simple wet and wild deep brown pencil. It's got a brush and then the eyebrow stuff on the other end and then use this e.l.f. brow lift clear gel to kind of set them and make them sit in place. Clump the hair back. So I got a light on on my mirror. Look at this mirror, y'all, it's so cute. I got this from, it was actually a gift that my husband bought me one year for Christmas. So, I'm also just gonna go ahead and pat down my face just a little bit, because a little bit of my oil has started to creep out. Okay, so y'all, my camera overheated and shut off. I don't know where I left off, but I'll see you once I edit. But while I let it cool off, I went ahead and filled in my brows, put on the primer and let it sit, and then put on my magnetic lashes. I have no idea what the brand is. I don't remember who I bought these from. I tried to find an email, but it was a random purchase off of Instagram, oh, there's a QR code on here. So I'll do this so y'all can try to scan and purchase um, if you like these. I think they look so natural. It does take some practice. Um, this is my second time and they look more natural than they did the first time I tried them. While I'm doing my makeup, I am not going to talk because I need to turn this fan on so that my camera stops overheating and I need, cause I need to get through filming this footage. Maybe it's my settings, but anyway, I'm gonna look into that. But while I do my makeup, I'm going to be silent. Maybe a voiceover, we'll see. I'm eating some dill pickle cashews, y'all. So good, if you like dill pickle, dill pickle flavor stuff, don't say I ain't never, uh, you know, helped you out or I never told you anything. So, anyway, I'm gonna eat a few more of these and then get to doing my makeup. All right, primer is set. We're going in with the contour first. And I'm supposed to use this brush, and I know it because color matches from the last time that I used it. So, she just uses her finger, but. I don't wanna do it. Did I use the other brush before? No. And you know what? I am gonna use my finger and then I'm just gonna blend it out with this. Okay, so contour is on. Um, she'll also like do some here and here. 
We'll see how that works out. I also need to do my nose. And then she'll just put a little here, 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 and she'll kind of go there with it. And then I'll use the brush to also blend that up and out. And then the next thing I'm gonna go in with is the lightest color I have, which is this one. It's called Papaya. And it goes here, here, here. There's a little here, here. Okay, so then she took it here, here, down the nose, here, 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 and here. So let's do it. I'm gonna do like so. And go down the bridge of my nose. A little bit here and there. And I heard it's it's better to do it like this. So then you just blend it out and you don't look like like that upside down triangle you're just covering. What needs to be covered. And I went up a little bit because the inner corners of my eyes are dark. Here, she did there. And then she took the next lightest, which will be this color here. So y'all, I've been talking the whole time and ain't been recording. But anyway, I went in first with the contour and then the, um, I guess the highlighter. And I'm following her video, so this is the contour. I put a little here and here as well. This is the highlighter here, down my nose, under the eyes, and she did a little here and here. So next is the next lightest color which is it's called golden hour which is that one and she put it like here 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 and here so let's do that this don't look right and my skin is also very like i have a lot of pores so I don't know, but it's gonna look fine once I blend it out. And then we'll go to the lip and cheek. I want to blend, I can tell this is the brush I used before because of the color. I wanna blend these two colors for that. So I'm just gonna tap in one, tap in the other. Like so, right in there. Oh, that's a lot of pigment. My pores look so big today. And the last thing is bronzer. And I believe it'll go somewhere here. It's all under my nails. Okay, so now we're gonna go in and start blending this out. But I do wanna take picture I'm gonna do like a little reveal if this comes out well okay so let's blend 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 which brush did she use okay so she uses this brush okay so I don't know how much I've already missed again but <laughs> I went back um, and now I'm gonna start blending in everything. And she used this brush and she did all the lighter sections first and then she blended the contour. So that's what we finna do. You have to spray a little spray first.
I did not conceal my chin, which I'm going to use this to do so because I paid for it. And it actually works pretty well. And it works I just, uh, I usually use my finger, but I just use this Fenty brush today. Finger it is. And I tell y'all, I love this makeup. I feel gorgeous. I don't know what I have missed. My camera keeps stopping. Saying it's getting hot again. But I got this little got this fan on it. I can't see the fan. This is so annoying. I need to just get I need to figure this out or get another camera. But I'm just gonna go in and go on top of everything with this just to kind of map me out for as long as possible I'm not into the the dewy look because my oily skin is gonna make me dewy in about five minutes so I really want to be matte so here is the look so far like I love it <laughs> I'm gonna do some lips I'm going to do what is this chestnut by Mac okay shout out to YouTube because I just watched the video that showed me what to do to keep it from cutting off um, if it does run hot. Um, but I am going to pay attention to the little temperature thing and turn it off when it does start to overheat. Um, but anyway, y'all finished. Like when I say I am in love, I am in love with this makeup. Like I feel like I look natural just another level a smoother or a more um uniform skin color i put on the mac chestnut lip liner and then i used a little bit of the lighter shade lip and cheek color in my palette for the inside of my lips and then i put a little more of the laura mercier powder on and then did another spray and y'all, she's done like, girl. Like, I like this is only the second time I've tried this makeup and I absolutely love it. There is not a lot of makeup on my face. It is one layer of product. Let me just say that. And then just the, the setting spray and the Laura Mercier powder over the top of it. Now we got a battery about to die. Why didn't I change that out? I'll be back. <laughs> So good. thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, all the things. Oh, I also did my nails off camera. Uh, I did a lot off camera because of this whole overheating thing. Um, but hopefully I'm not gonna have that issue going forward. The video said the setting I changed fixes this issue for about 90% of the people who own this camera. So I'm not gonna get rid of it again just yet. <laughs> I forgive you, Sony, my Sony ZV1. I am off to go film some more content, so look out for that. Um, it is my birthday weekend. I'm feeling like that girl now. I did a little maintenance of everything, shower, got my hair done, just did my makeup. I feel amazing. Ladies over 40, like we need to understand that we can still be that girl. It doesn't, like 40 is still young. Like where people got 40 years old is old, it's not. It's like a lot of stuff 
just besides the menopause stuff because that's like that's whack as hell um but there are ways and treatments to help with that nowadays too. go see your doctor we're not going to go into that in this video but you know if you kind of lost yourself or just want to re-spark your feminine energy like start thinking about it um like my girl alexis wilkerson said start thinking about it like it's so much fun to be a girl and when she said that i was like she's not lying do i feel like it all the time no because obviously it is time and effort and then especially for me in the mornings i'm not a morning person when i sit down to put in the time and effort into myself i just feel better like period and we can still be that girl in our 40s. Don't forget it. Lean into that. Lean into the fact that it is fun to be a girl. So anyway, I went off into a rant and I'm trying to close off this video. A super A plus for the Saint makeup. Get in touch with my girl. She gonna hook you up. Thank y'all again so much for watching and I will see you guys on the next one. Bye.